When jets cross the Atlantic, they do not always follow the same published routes. Sometimes the path does not even exist on a chart. It is drawn just for that flight. Every day, Shanwick and Gander publish North Atlantic tracks, fixed highways in the sky, shifting with the jet stream to save fuel. But if turbulence, storms, or volcanic ash makes them inefficient, crews file something else, a random oceanic route. These random routes do not appear on charts. They are built waypoint by waypoint using latitude and longitude and uploaded into the aircraft's flight management system. Air traffic control checks for conflicts, approves it, and suddenly your flight is carving its own private track across the ocean. A London to New York westbound might use the standard tracks for tailwinds, but eastbound fighting headwinds, dispatch could request a random route to save time and fuel. Polar routes and Pacific crossings, almost entirely random. Every flight a custom build. So next time you're over the Atlantic, do not assume your jet is flying a neat permanent highway. It could be navigating a route invented that morning, shaped by winds, storms and fuel burn. Smart efficiency or added complexity? Would you trust a one-off route designed just for your flight? Or would you rather stick to fixed, proven tracks?